Hey Gate again. Hey, again! Welcome back to We Love, We Live, We Travel. <laughs> I'm Ratwa. And I am Mr. Queen. And we are married. <laughs> <laughs> if you are a Gator. I forgot to wear married. Yeah. <laughs> hey Booba. You ready? Taking stock as your consigner, Shyama KPI. We <laughs> financially, and yeah, we need yeah. to go back to the whys, yeah, right? Um, why we did this YouTube thing, and I think that will help us. Um, not only because we, we had a vision in mind and it's, it's reminding us to stay within the vision, but I think it's helping us plan a bit more yeah. about this year or for this year. Um, mm. So yeah, yeah, you know, at church, uh, we we've been challenged to be honest with ourselves this year, and being honest means standing in front of the mirror, um, looking through the mirror, yeah. and not through the window at what other people are doing out there. So true. Yeah, a family <laughs> meeting, Buba. It is a family meeting. Let's have a family meeting now, yeah. so that we know why we're here and we continue to pursue or like achieve yeah True. yeah why did we start youtube we started youtube initially um for selfish reasons well on my part it was a selfish reason <laughs> okay um because um as you all know like um i studied um, i studied in the arts so i've always wanted to have a production company mm. um and i still do and so at the time i wanted to figure out what it could mean and mm. when we realized that hey there's this youtube platform yeah i was like huh how about how about we start there you know mm -hmm. grab a camera mm -hmm. get some light figure it out so that True. we're practicing for one day <clears throat> when we are called there by multi-choice or by whoever yeah you know to run our own thing so yeah we started small this is, yeah, this is the small, and if we can be trusted with the small, I believe, then we can do the big. That's true. Why did you start? Um, yeah, the same reason, but um, mostly for memories as well. Yeah. Um, you know, because a lot of people were actually interested in our lives before YouTube, you know, when we'd post our travels, you sure, know, people would be true. like, guys, why don't you, you know, start a YouTube channel and actually that's document true. all this? Because we had a lot of content even yeah. before, you know, and I remember we pressed procrastinated a bit quite a lot yeah. and um until papa was like you know what guys i'm getting guys a camera and sure. let's go so papa bought us a camera and he's like guys yeah. go for it and yeah. yeah that's basically how we started sure yeah do you think though that we've we've met the objectives of why we started well i think they've changed um yeah i mean it's it's normal i mean we we went into youtube um, uh, without having you know any experience without even just understanding how YouTube works we literally um, I remember we researched YouTube for like well I did I yeah. mean you you've been watching it but I researched it for about a month just to see you know what's what people are doing on YouTube yeah. you know what I mean yeah. and yeah after that we just hopped in and we rode it blindly man yeah I think we have to a certain extent i do think we've met some of the objectives well especially booba guys mm. booba didn't he didn't know like editing yeah. before this yeah like before this and now to watch you be able to edit and yeah. put in music you know where to get music yeah. you know all about lighting or this is flushed or yeah. you know that kind of stuff so yeah. um it's it's been a blessing especially where the technical side of things have been and then for me because i'm like i'm very creative um i write so for me just putting or packaging our content packaging the ideas of i think that's been a reward like yeah, yeah where production in the smaller scale has been i think we 
we're ticking some of the boxes. Mm -hmm. um, but I would say... And the makeup. She does my makeup. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Although I sweat a lot, guys. But yeah, she, uh, Booba got me. Huh? He's actually sweating right now. So let me sort him out <laughs> after the break. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching the ads. You know how important they are to us so that we can just buy some groceries. <laughs> so um, I would say, yeah, as much as we've ticked certain boxes, um, I know that it's weird. Like our objectives have changed. And why I'll say that is because the YouTube space is different to your SABC one, your multi-choice, right? There's a tradition in YouTube, there's a, especially where YouTube couples are concerned. And so I think over time you realize that, okay, I must just do that challenge. I must just do this thing. Yeah. I must just speak about this topic because it's what people want to see or it's what people are used to on YouTube. Oh, we must do this in this way. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, to a certain extent, then you yeah you 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 have to king when in rome you do mm. what the romans do True. um and and that's the thing is that perhaps we're going i would <laughs> say we've gone against yeah. in many times we've gone against what we wanted to do because of True. what we think is youtubey yeah yeah. that's why i say it's changed because starting out we'd really watch what other couples are doing and we'd do the challenges that they're doing yeah. but over time we realize that you know we need to stick to our own content you know be us yeah. you know yeah and yeah that's basically what we're doing we, yeah we're going against the norm you know and we, we're just trying to make youtube work for us yeah and not follow trends and you know but i think um look you know the minute we hopped onto this platform uh we had a lot of love like we got a lot of love we still get a lot of that love yeah. and the minute we ask people to subscribe it's an argument we've once had with fresh the minute you ask people to subscribe and you give them this expectation of who you are and what you're going to offer yeah um to a certain extent and i'm fencing to a certain extent a lot but <laughs> the channel becomes the gators in a way yeah right it becomes the gators and so i get from a place where gator is saying no but can you do this challenge yeah, yeah. sometimes i roll my eye because i'm just like yeah it's because you saw another couple do that challenge so now you want us to do mm -hmm. i get it but um because of the lingo of youtube it's sometimes almost expected that a gator would want to see us do a similar thing play a same game yeah. um the gators would want us to maybe talk about this topic and you know so that also changes sometimes um the course of what we thought we'd want our content to be about because at the end of the day you want your viewer True. right and if we're going back to production yeah you want to you offer the, the viewer yeah you want. give yeah. the people what they want so yeah it's it's yeah it's it's youtube is a beautiful platform because you have a channel of your own you you have control of your content yeah. um but we found that in the past three years we've had to then play by the rule book um yeah that's true yeah we've had to play by the rule book sometimes at the expense of ah did we really enjoy shooting this and we shot for the sake of now we're shooting for the sake of shooting yeah uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah guys this is family this is this is this is how we feel about this kind of stuff and yeah don't say like you know are we annoyed with youtube are we bored but mm. this is this is as honest as we can be about our journey yeah i think another thing that so, some somewhat shifted the course of what we wanted to do and why we were here was the numbers mm. um youtube is a numbers game you know yeah like real talk real yeah. talk and especially when we started it was like okay let's get two thousand and after a thousand let's get two oh then whoa why we not great ah, yeah. and you know you go crazy about it and i think when you obsess then about numbers mm. and who's watching and you're okay let me get this couple here so that they can bring their numbers and all those technicalities yeah. i think that's when we're just like ah ah focus 
why did you start yeah yeah that's true yeah mm. but yeah it is a numbers game you know numbers talk um you know especially for those that are doing it for money yeah um the the money the the numbers bring the the money the money you know? yeah um, because sponsors will obviously um approach you when you have bigger numbers mm. um, and that affects your content as well i mean uh, if you're looking to bring sponsors in yeah. you can't just do mickey mouse content and think a brand will want to align with you you know sure. yeah, so, so yeah you have to be very careful about what you're putting out there yeah i mean i remember with defining mm -hmm. you know talking about yeah a highlight which we'll talk about later but like we got onto defining and yeah. we didn't even have as many numbers as all the couples who originally were on defining had yeah. yeah um and so it just goes to show that some some things well not some things all things if if it's meant to be yours it's it yours no yours. matter how many numbers yeah. how many what what net bank as well mm. and you always mm. say this mm. our insta numbers on net bank <laughs> do you get what i'm saying yeah. and and for them to want to work with us as well I think, yeah, so I think don't sweat the small stuff, put yeah. in the work, yes, what's meant to be yours will, will you know, will come, but True. also have, you know, have a good platform True. for yeah. them to want to even sit on numbers or not. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. So would we do this forever? Dum, dum, <laughs> Sure. Yeah. yeah. Forever is a long forever time. Forever is a long time. <laughs> But look, um, YouTube is a yeah. huge platform, you know, and it's growing each and every day, even. And, um, well, I don't think we'll do it forever. I think we'll get yeah. to a point where we we need to move to a different platform, you know, to, yeah. to showcase our content. Part of the vision. Yeah, it yeah. is part of if the vision. If we remember the yeah. vision. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, this is a... Look, um... Yet, as you will know, when we've packed up shop, we'll have a whole segment like this, saying our goodbyes and our, <laughs> and our speeches. Um, but here's the thing, now, part of evolving um, with the platform uh, means, I think, being cognizant of where you are, where we are in our season. Yeah. I do know that we've got a great call on our lives. And my thing is, YouTube can either make or break the bigger call, right? Um, and this is where the content topic comes in. Yeah. So if as a subscriber you want us to have a episode, an episode where I'm shaking my ass in a thong <laughs> on a yacht, um, I think that would compromise where we are going right so and that's why i'm saying call us conservative call us boring ah oh, they don't take risks they're not on edge no for us i think youtube should be an extension of who we are but it must also align with our call it True. must align with who i am and so you will never see me in a thong on a yacht on this platform yeah. because i do know that uh and for example we've spoken about this like i uh i'm a teacher you know and I stand in front of hundreds of students yeah. and some of them know I'm on YouTube and those who eventually discover I'm on YouTube, their relationship towards me changes, right? So much so that if I walk into the lecture, it's, hey man, okay, booba, you know? <laughs> um, I get it, it's great. You my subbies, I love you guys, but in yeah. the context right there and then, I am your lecturer, mm. right? And mm. there should be a certain sense of respect and decorum. True. Um, and I'm professional. No one will know, you know, that I'm on YouTube when I'm in class type of thing. Mm. And so the minute it starts then, you know, messing up with the integrity of my work or the minute it might feed into our credibility in our jobs or in our calling, yeah. uh, that's where I say that, no, maybe it doesn't fit. So maybe then it's, it's also then a challenge for us to say, how do we curate our content then mm -hmm. to be able to maintain our integrity, you True. know? Um, we also look at our family, you know, as fun as we are, you know, our siblings, our parents, they also hold certain yeah. positions, you know? And we literally ask them, okay, are you okay if this is shown? Are we, like I remember, yeah. like even in Cape Town, we'd ask Papa, Pap, is this okay? Because 
the position you hold at work and yeah. and it's those kind of things that you want to protect um, the family you want to protect our nephews our nieces mm. they also go to school yeah. um, so for such a time when we feel like YouTube really is exposing us um, and not to say we lie when we get onto YouTube and we're not being real no 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 I'm just saying as life people yeah it needs to align it does right. um, yeah it needs to align it needs to protect us um, it, it need not tarnish in any way the things that we are called for the things we want to achieve so mm -hmm. yeah that's that on that and as much as you can tell a kid no but that's that's Morocco on YouTube Morocco here is your lecturer no guys we're not actors like when I when we say hey get again we say this is Muratwa this is you know yeah. I don't say I'm Sofalina <laughs> no this is who we are so I can't have a youtuber saying or no but me on YouTube is different from me yeah. no that's not what it is unless you must just say we are here to perform yeah true that's that on Periana <laughs> <laughs> and funny enough now when yeah. you mention that um, also the reason why you start YouTube yeah will determine um, basically um, how you treat your content so yeah yeah some people start YouTube for various reasons you know? yeah yeah some, some start YouTube for money yeah some started for fame so you good. know so and um, those people will be comfortable doing anything or whatever it takes right yeah they will shake their ass on a yacht yeah for, to get the numbers to get the subscribers yeah so um, if you're thinking of uh, starting your own channel, yeah. think about why you're doing it, and that will kind of lead you to yeah. the type of content that you deliver. You know? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Highlights, though. Highlights. Wow, I've had so many beautiful highlights. Um, my biggest highlights, though, would be bumping into gators. Yeah. And um, you know, people would come to you, hey, Mr. Quena, that one thing you said really changed my life. Yeah. You know, and it just makes you realize that you know YouTube is bigger than us. Like yeah. you said, you yeah. know, um, we are impacting people and yeah. we are changing lives. And when you get that back, you know, it's just like wow, we're actually doing something. Yeah. You know, even yeah. though it's just one or two people, but. You know we're making a difference yeah and that's true that's a highlight for me you know because it shows that we're not just messing around you know yeah but we're actually touching people's lives yeah i think yeah that has also been a highlight that people behind the screen or in front of their screens right mm -hmm. now watching they actually exist they're real people yeah um i've i've yeah we've come across the most amazing people some of them are in our instagram dms yeah some of them are my friends virtually now just by you know youtube uh we've shared stories um yeah it's it's actually been quite incredible yeah. uh, the people we've met because of youtube the friendships we've mm. had over youtube True. i think my biggest another huge highlight and this there's actually so many is candid yeah um so as you guys would know like candid literally it came out of us feeling like um and and here's the thing so we got a, a message from a gator saying ah, i used to like this channel when they used to do the vlog vlogs and not the sitting down thing in their vlogs mm -hmm. right and at the time i think our first candid we explained that you know what we want to try this reality type of candid where we're not like performing for the camera hey guys now we're going to the shop to go we wanted you to see us get into the flipping shop right mm -hmm. and so um we found that like vlogging before we were very like performing about it and yeah. okay no the cops are approaching okay press play then you press but how about the camera's just sitting there and it's playing and when we get stopped by the cop it's already there type of thing not just guys we're about to be stopped by cops now <laughs> what are we gonna you know <laughs> so um i've loved candid i've loved that the camera has been rolling and when we watch back to reflect in our diary sessions i think yeah that's the beauty of actually reflecting back and reacting back yeah. um candid more specifically for our family so we get a lot of like messages saying oh my gosh we love this family oh my gosh you guys have such loving parents oh my gosh you guys yeah. get along with your in-laws oh my gosh mm -hmm. and that's all that's what we've ever wanted to achieve yeah. you know to just show you guys that 
they are families yeah, where the possibly. son-in-law can <laughs> you know dance with his father-in-law yeah. and sisters-in-laws can just chill and go to the spa and yeah. mothers-in-laws can love one another and just being a family because families mm. like that do exist and so for us to be that hope and that light for me has just been mm. yeah it's just been amazing how you've received our family like sure. yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, and another thing, I've got so many highlights. That's what I'm saying. It's it's quite beautiful being in this space. Although sometimes I get us think like, oh, these people don't like being here because they can sit for two months and not come. <laughs> hey. But we actually do love this. I think, um, and I know you'll agree with me, Buba, is I think the doors we've managed to walk through yeah. as a result of YouTube. Mm. Um, it's 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 been a blessing of note. Um, the platforms we've been able to share our lives on, yeah. uh, the brands, you know, we've been able to work with. Um, yeah, it's all testament, obviously, to God, but this platform. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I don't think if we're just sitting at home yeah. and not on YouTube, we would have been introduced to as many opportunities as we have been That's true. because of this platform. Yeah. So, yeah, the lows. <laughs> The lows, the lows are when Boomer's on my neck for, for being late to shoot and yeah. set up the camera. And yeah, we, 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 we get into it quite a bit before shooting because, you yeah. know, it's just like, yo, you're late for this, you're late for this, we're supposed to finish this time and, you know, so it becomes a bit challenging. Uh, Content-wise as well, like just that conflict of, of the the type of content we want to bring and yeah we end up just being like ah, ah you know yeah. and that's yeah it's a low for me because I sh we end up um just not seeing eye to eye i think booba you you suffer a lot of imposter syndrome there it is um and i really think he does like those guys flipping good when it comes to pre-production the post-production that's the, like i'm saying uh, but he always complains about quality, oh, but our quality and our camera and our sound and our... And I'm one of those people, guys. If it were up to me, I, you know me, I can talk the whole day. Like, I could just, look, I could do this. <laughs> but um, the fact that Mr. Editor here, um, he, so, he, he just wants a certain quality sometimes. And yeah. that imposter syndrome, it really just like swallows you so much that you... Yeah, you end up like not doing things where you could have done yeah. them. So that's my argument yeah. where the law is. I feel like you're very hard on yourself. And I feel like our quality is quite good. And the gators will tell you. The gators don't even mind us coming here to just inhale and exhale and go. <laughs> they say that. You know, they say that. Do you get what mm. I'm saying? And as much as, you know, I know, I, I get you. I really get you. But sometimes there's been many times where we could have uploaded something. But yeah. because we're so hard on ourselves, guys, mm. you don't understand. Like, yeah. well, you would understand. <laughs> You've got, yeah, perfectionist slash, yeah, everything in this, in this marriage. And sometimes, yeah, that can be a low of sometimes where you realize, hey, we actually could have just uploaded that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think another low for me, and I've always been vocal about it, is um, I think, yeah, when we sometimes don't meet the expectation of, the subscriber and um at the time and I, like i always say this like one thing about me gators know how i feel about this when life is happening like whoa like gators know if we get a message saying yeah we've left your channel we're watching other people now because you guys are slow um although i don't respond yeah. like the day we actually share where we were at a particular time when we didn't post yeah. A lot of gators would actually be shocked and they'd be like, shucks, I should have just, yeah. do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So as much as we share our lives on this platform, life does happen. Yeah, the lows have been when we were at our lowest and you get a funny message like that saying, yeah, yeah I'm divorcing you. <laughs> I think. Yeah, I just found another yeah, couple. Yeah, I found another watch. couple. Uh, true story, guys. We yeah. don't make this stuff up. <laughs> But yeah, that, that sometimes is just the kick. Um, yeah. But also, it's like a wake up to say, no, 
be consistent guys be consistent you mm. owe it you told these people to subscribe you told them you're gonna you know so yeah it's a <laughs> it's a wake-up call but it's also a low especially when we're all we are low yeah it's like that kick over dying was right yeah what then can our subbies the gators you know expect yeah no um yeah we're changing things this year eh? yeah um, yeah so excited we've got a few ideas coming through yeah um well not to reveal too much but um just be on the lookout guys if you haven't subscribed subscribe uh because we've got content coming yeah uh we're gonna involve other couples here and there we are going to do a bit of music side yeah we back to music we, look, we, we're working on a few things so yeah, yeah stay tuned bro. yeah i think yeah you can expect the same authenticity the same honesty yeah. um that you've always had um but also feel free like you know be open uh down the comment section below what more you'd love us to see don't say challenges yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm joking yeah, no. and he's not joking I'm about not. that <laughs> But yeah, I think I think this is going to be an exciting year. Um, as much as we can help it, uh, mm. we are going to work on being consistent. Yeah. Um, and yeah, within the 24 hours that God has granted us, we will try our best to make use of it as best as we can where YouTube is concerned. Um, and I think, yeah, I think let's go back to basics this year. Let's remember why we started mm. um and let that be the end goal this year i'm really excited that we're giving the channel back to people now uh, i think we've been very self-centered and as much mm. as yeah this channel is the Gwenas, yeah. i think yeah over and above our family which you see a lot i think yeah i think let's open it up for the people True. um let's see more people on the channel yeah. and by couples it's not even just youtube couples but mm. generally you guys yeah you could find yourself on the channel this year True. so yeah <laughs> that was our family meeting fellow gator zins in the ah the and that was us and we love, we live, we travel.